Yo, what is going on guys? It's MatchQC here back with a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own Fallout 5 in Fallout 4. So this is all going to be up to you. You can go as crazy if, as you want. I mean, honestly, you could even go flex tape nukes. That's right. Flex tape, the end all be all. Go ahead and just fill any void in your life with flex tape right here on Fallout. But no, seriously guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give you some of my best, you know, mods that I like to use really changes the game for you know Fallout 4 full full disclosure though PC mods yes they are better Fallout PC mods are always gonna be better more exciting more in-depth but I want to give console a little bit of love because it seems like 90% of all the mods are actually on PC so we'll go ahead and give it a little bit of love so this is for mainly anything you can do it on Xbox PS4 you know PC whatever but I'm going to go ahead and do this from a, a console standpoint because these mods can very much break your game. As some of you may know that they actually do mod on console. But we're going to go ahead and talk about some of these. Alright guys, now if, I mean, if you really want to, you can just go ahead and download Cheat Terminal. If you don't really feel like playing the game and just messing around. Which, you know, if you want to, you want to. It is what it is. You just download a few gun mods and you just want some different guns. Maybe you feel like the guns in uh, Fallout 4 were lacking, which I agree they were. Or you could even change the weather and the environment, like, you know, uh, just dark night mods, or dar darker nights, I should say, or, you know, true storms, things like that. Really, it just depends on what you want to, what, what you want out of your game. But, personally, I'll go ahead and show you what I chose to really make this into basically just a completely different Fallout, in my opinion. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you my load order. Always, always, always the unofficial Fallout 4 patch. It's nothing groundbreaking, just fixes anything that you know but doesn't never actually got to or never actually could fix uh, you could go and do some of the there's more story mods that you could go to like I like doing Astro Raider it's a good one uh, you know the companion combat overhaul which kind of just fixes how they react how they uh, handle issues in the environment things like that now we'll go into the good ones deadly Raiders of the Commonwealth deadly gunners of the Commonwealth these are two very very good mods that I think are very underrated more people need to download these mods. Okay, so first off, Deadly Raiders and Deadly Gunners of the Commonwealth create more... It, it makes it feel more alive. So, uh, you can go to areas that, you know, there used to not be anything, and now maybe they have a base just randomly there for you to, to go at. Or, maybe you'll be walking down this one road and there's a patrol of gunners or raiders, things like that. Uh, I also have a couple more of those. Actually, Bosses of the Commonwealth, which I think is a really good one. Uh, it kind of goes along with the other, you know, deadly so-and-sos. Uh, there's deadly ghouls of the commonwealth, deadly triggermen of the commonwealth. And I think these are all very good because it makes it feel more lively and kind of gives you that, like, uh, unexpected fact. Like, you don't know what the heck is about to happen. You don't know what's going on. You just know that suddenly you got, like, ten ghouls up here. There's a bunch of triggermen behind you chasing you. You don't know what the heck you're going to do. So you're just going to have to either fight, run, or die. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's no in between so I think those are some pretty uh, pretty good ones and for basically the complete experience of having a different one I cannot recommend this one up start me up or any of the mods that really uh, let you start like a different way than just oh uh, coming out of the vault yo oh, my son's been kidnapped etc 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 but with these it seems like that it kind of gives you like a uh, it kind of makes you, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of role play for yourself a little more. You know, think for yourself, like, how do how do you want to play this? You know, do you want to do it this way? Or maybe you want to, maybe you want to, you know, come up with your own thing in your imagination. Oh, hey, uh, I, I was a raider. I used to be a raider, but I got outcasted. So here I am. Or maybe I was on a boat and I got shipwrecked trying to come over this way. I don't know. However you want to take it. Uh, there's plenty of mods out there for it. You just have to look for them. I know Start Me Up is a good one, but I don't think it's available on console anymore, as you can see from, well, this. Uh, there was a few more on the popular page. I'll try to find it. If I can find it, I'll go ahead and show you. All right, well, I couldn't actually find it, which is a bit of a shame, but, however, I, and with doing so, I did see a bunch of other mods that I do want to talk about. So, I tell the Enclave, it basically kind of uh, introduces the Enclave, kind of gives you a nice little quest. I think there's even dialogue if I can remember right. I haven't played this one in quite a while. It could have been updated. 
but from what I understand there actually is dialogue with the characters, some new armors, things like that. It's actually really good. I highly recommend Until the Enclave as well as, uh, where is it? Bullet Time for Xbox is nice because it's, like it's just like a nice little um, cosmetic feature. You know, you can see the bullets, makes it feel a little more realistic, things like that. Uh, there's a bunch of story ones out here. If you can kind of handle it, like, where's the one I was looking for? Like, like Army of the Storyteller is a decent one. I think that's actually a pretty good one. Uh, I think that was from a YouTuber, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, from ShoddyCast. Yeah, that's what I thought. So things like that. Uh, let's talk about a few other ones. So, like I said earlier, with the you know the amount of guns that I thought were lacking. So what I did is I just I just got like about three. I have about three, if I'm not mistaken. Four. I have four. So I actually have four little gun things because for one you can get modern firearms, but I didn't feel like that was that did you know a good a good job. I I like it, but I think for the size and what you really get didn't really make sense to me so I just got four like four of the tinier little ones just enough to really uh, you know kind of boost whatever I wanted in my gameplay obviously you could go different you could go what even crossbows the commonwealth or you know if you just straight up want to uh, you know use a bunch of your space you could get modern firearms I mean it's really however you just want to play this uh, what I do recommend though is I recommend trying some of the smaller ones first because you still get that uh, like that depth of different guns and things like that and when you can, when you like pair it up with see, things like see-through scopes it really does make the game feel a lot more different and with that being said go ahead and talk about the next one uh, gas mask with helmets that's a good one that's always a good one because I don't know why they didn't include that in the regular one they do have that in 76 thankfully but they didn't actually have it in the base game I don't really know why Dismember Overhaul is a very, very good mod. I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> uh, there's something very satisfying about blowing off the legs and arms of just whatever it is you absolutely want to and just watching them kind of freak out and not know what to do. Uh, enhanced Blood Textures is always a good one. If you do like, you know, settlement building, things like that, there are a few good ones like Place Anywhere, which I cannot recommend enough considering how. I'm not going to say broken, but it was pretty bad how the settlement system was implemented and used in Fallout 4. I think they could have done a lot better job of it, but I think this is a very good one right here. And there is another one that I had, or maybe it is this one. Yeah, it is this one. Clean the Commonwealth. Okay, so, alright, so, the, yeah, the mod hasn't really been updated in quite some time. He says it's coming. He said that a few months ago, uh, but that's cool because he's, it's, apparently it's because he's going to college. That's why he hasn't updated. Hey, man, good for you. Go get that education. But really what it does is clean any garbage you find in your settlements. So, you know, bushes or, you know, things that are like sticking out of the ground that really bother you. Like, uh, like when you're building, you got this nice little house built and then there's like bushes and grass like sticking up from underneath the ground. That's really, that's actually, that's the most frustrating thing I can think of. So what do you do with that? Well, download clean the commonwealth this is it's an alpha apparently but clean the commonwealth is a good one for basically if you want to do base building the right way I, I highly recommend uh pairing it up with place anywhere place anywhere and clean the commonwealth is a very good one so another good one we're going to talk about is npcs travel so npcs travel basically it's kind of self-explanatory so if the game feels kind of dead to you, kind of like, you know, you have to always go to the action. Action is not coming for you. This is where mods like NPCs Travel or any of the deadly ones like Raiders, Gunners, uh, Triggerman, Ghouls. I think there's a Super Mutant one as well that I don't have downloaded. But any of those, those will greatly, you know, greatly increase, you know, how this game feels. Because I remember going from, you know, point A to point B to point C, and I'd fight at point A, point B, and point C. But if you do it this way, you'll be fighting along the way to point A when you get there, and then on the way to point B, and when you get to point B. So there's more action, it makes it feel more lively, uh, you know, and there's always more action. It's always, it's always better. Everything's always better with more action, honestly. Now if you really just feel like you want a change of scenery, but not like a complete change, uh, there is a bunch of 
not really. There, there's weather mods that you can download, obviously, that make it a lot better, like True Storms, uh, was it Calamity Weathers, things like that. But there is a lot of environmental ones you could do, like, here we go, Rust Belt Floor is a good one. That's actually a very solid one for consoles that doesn't really make the game crash. Especially if you want to, like, load it up. It's not going to, like, you know, make it freak out or anything like that. It's more solid, more... I don't want to say defined, but it is a lot more solid than things like Overgrowth. Overgrowth really like you know hit hard with performance along with the uh, Dime City Expanded. But that that does go to say though that I did have a lot of mods installed. I do like to have a lot of mod mods installed at all times because I think it's just in my opinion it makes things better. Yeah, here we go, Deadly Supermoons. But yeah, in, in my opinion, it just makes things better. Uh, it really changes the game and what really to expect from it. There's also ones like Green of the Commonwealth is a pretty good one. It doesn't really take too much, you know, of a hit to your, you know, FPS or things like that while you're playing. Or you can just get some of the other, you know, armor mods if you like you're just lacking armors. And I think some of these even make it where that armor actually spawns on NPCs. So, you know, it's a nice little thing. So instead of just going here, you know, finding it over here, like going here, crafting this, crafting that, boom, you have it. You know, you could actually work for it. Somebody like a lot. Of, I know a lot of these gun ones. You know, it'll tell you like if you want to find it that badly, it'll tell you where to find it. But you can also go out and earn it for yourself, or like, you know, uh, kill some people to get it. You know, just things like that. I think that's I think that's pretty cool. And this is this is that one I was talking about earlier. That's that's like start me up, but it's different. It's called alternate start. It's basically it's basically like start me up, where you you can pick how you want to start the game. So that way you're not starting off in the vault like I was talking about earlier. So I think that's a very, very, very solid way if you want to completely change your game, make it uh, different, make it something new, start somewhere different, start with little to nothing and work your way up. That way you can take the quest in different ways. The story does stay roughly the same though, but it's not your son this time. I think from what I remember, it's basically them trying to find, yeah, it's them trying to find this kid that was kidnapped, but it kind of goes the same way the story did, but you had different dialogue options this time, which I think is a very nice, you know, little move by them. After that, there's always, you know, like I was talking about earlier, the thousands of armors you could download, different power armors, different regular armors, I think everything from, I think one was what? Heavy armor, I think that's what I had installed. Uh, I just want to check. Yeah, I think I uninstalled it. But yeah, there's all kinds of armors that you, if you feel like, you know, you just want more diversity or things like that, that's always an option. Uh, one of the best ones, and I can't seem to find it. Ah, plenty of exploration. Plenty of exploration is a very good one, but keep in mind with some of the like overgrowth things like that it does mess with it because there might be a tree inside of a building that he actually made i don't know if that's still like that but that's how it was whenever i last played it they were conflicting mods let's see it doesn't really say but it actually adds a lot of different buildings different interiors all kinds of places all over the map that you wouldn't even expect i think it's a very good touch and it's a very, very well done mod that actually works pretty well, to be honest. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Maybe I missed some mods that you guys would like to see. Maybe, maybe I hit them all. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I did it wrong. Maybe I did it right. Let me know. Man, this, this well, here's a very good example of my uh, deadly ones of the Commonwealth. Raider Juggernaut. I'm level 54 and he's a higher level than me. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be very fun. <laughs> oh, nice. But yeah, guys, like I said, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know of any future videos you guys want to see in the comments down below. And if you're still watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We post pretty frequently around here, posting all kinds of videos lately. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And peace.